On the morning of July 5th, 2017, in Bangkok, a man sat inside his luxury villa, working on his laptop. Suddenly, a loud crash from outside broke his concentration. Unaware that his life of indulgence was about to end, he left his laptop open and rushed out. A girl ran out as well, announcing that the police had been preparing for this day for years. This man was no ordinary person. A multi-millionaire, he lived like a king by day and night, concealing his identity for years. But a single mistake cost him everything. His properties, money, wealth, cars, and eventually his life. How did this happen? How did the police from seven countries track down the world's most wanted dark web king? Let's jump into the topic. Back in 2010, the dark web was just beginning to rise. This hidden part of the internet is where all kinds of illegal activities take place, from drug and weapon trades to contract killings. The dark web thrives because it allows criminals to hide their identities from law enforcement. This secrecy seemed foolproof, especially with the advent of cryptocurrencies, which made it nearly impossible for authorities to trace illegal payments. As the dark web's issues of anonymity and secure payment transfer were solved, there remained a need for a reputable platform to facilitate these illegal trades. First, Silk Road was created and quickly became successful in the dark world of the internet. Launched in February 2011, it attracted over 100,000 customers almost immediately. However, two and a half years later, its owner was caught and the website was shut down. Due to high demand, several new dark websites emerged shortly after. On these platforms, users bought bitcoins, which were then transferred to sellers after deducting a commission for the platform. However, mostly in these websites where operators would take all the money and disappear. The anonymity provided by the dark web made it impossible to trace them, leading drug dealers to simply move to other platforms. In the early years of the dark web, such scams, along with arrests and hacking, were common. This chaos highlighted the need for a reputable and trusted platform. In 2014, Alpha Bay was launched, meeting this need. The identity and location of its creator, known only as Alpha02, remained a mystery. Alpha Bay banned certain trades like money laundering and drugs, likely to avoid trouble with Russian law enforcement or to mislead U.S. authorities about its origins. Alphabay quickly gained a foothold on the dark web. Within a year, it had 200,000 customers and over 40,000 sellers conducting their illicit business. By 2017, more than 300,000 items were listed, with daily sales reaching around $100,000. Alpha02 earned $100,000 monthly from these transactions, making Alphabay the leading dark web marketplace. It established a level of trust between dealers and customers unmatched by its competitors. Meanwhile, law enforcement agencies worldwide were determined to uncover Alpha 02's real identity. American investigators in particular struggled to locate Alphabay's servers, aiming to shut down the platform. Knowing the server location of any website is crucial, but it becomes a complex task with dark websites. These sites are accessible only through the Tor browser, which conceals the real location behind random servers worldwide. This made it impossible for American investigators to trace Alphabay's servers. Alpha02 was exceptionally cautious and had avoided any missteps that might reveal his identity. In 2017, authorities finally got a breakthrough. Robert Miller, an officer of the Drug Enforcement Administration, DEA, received an anonymous email containing information about Alpha02. This tipster had saved an original welcome email from Alphabay, sent when the platform launched in 2014, revealing Alpha02's real email email address. This address led investigators to various social media platforms and forums where they found an individual named Alex who matched Alpha02's profile. Alex had signed up for multiple platforms using the same email address, including a French social media site and a technology forum, where he posted under the username Alpha02. His real name, as revealed in the post, was Alexandre Cazes and a dating profile revealed his hometown as Trois-Rivières, Canada. This profile indicated he was 17 years old in 2008, suggesting he was born in 1990. Authorities linked Alex to a software designer role and discovered he owned multiple properties, including a villa in Bangkok, a mansion outside the city, a holiday home in Phuket, and a villa in Cyprus. They surveilled him closely, tracking his movements in Bangkok, unaware that Thai, American, and Canadian agents were following him. Despite his dark web empire, Alex led a seemingly ordinary life, waking up early and staying home most days. The investigation team planned to arrest Alex, but needed to catch him red-handed on his laptop to prove his connection to Alphabay. Concurrently, European investigators had a breakthrough with Hansa Market, another dark web marketplace causing trouble in Europe. They discovered Hansa Market's server location and secretly copied its data, uncovering that it was operated from Germany. 
European authorities, in collaboration with the German Federal Criminal Police, began efforts to identify and apprehend the owner of Hansa Market. Meanwhile, the FBI informed European authorities of their plan to arrest Alpha O2 and shut down Alpha Bay. Agencies from seven countries, including German authorities, decided to collaborate on this effort, naming it Operation Bayonet. The European authorities requested that the FBI delay Alpha 02's arrest until they could coordinate their actions. This strategic decision capitalized on the typical dark web pattern where users migrate to another site when one is shut down. Hansa Market was the second largest dark web marketplace, and European authorities already had it under their control. Once Alphabay closed, dealers and customers flocked to Hansa Market, allowing authorities to capture thousands of new suspects. On June 20th, 2017, the operation's first phase succeeded. European authorities raided Hansa Market's data center in the Netherlands and a location in Siegen, Germany arresting its operator in Cologne. This seizure remained secret, keeping Hansa Market operational under covert control. Simultaneously, in Bangkok, the DEA, FBI, and Thai authorities prepared to arrest Alexander Kazes. They aimed to catch him with his laptop and mobile devices open. On the morning of July 5th, 2017, they arrested Kaze, securing his devices and accessing his passwords. Authorities confiscated his properties, cars, and cryptocurrencies worth millions. Tragically, just a week after his arrest, Alexander Kaze committed suicide in custody, hanging himself. Following Alphabay's closure, as planned, dealers and customers migrated to Hansa Market, unaware it was controlled by European authorities. Uh, this led to the capture of numerous new suspects. A week later, Hansa Market was permanently shut down. On the same day, the U.S. Department of Justice held a press conference announcing the successful operation and the takedown of two major dark web platforms. Thanks for sticking around until the end. Don't forget to subscribe to Amazing Info For You. See you in the next video. Alligators.